Hi, this is Bird from Birds SVGs, and in this video I'll be putting the milk churn together. And this is um, a gift box or storage box, and it's from the Nature's Bounty SVG collection. So first of all, we're going to be starting with the lid. And I'm starting with these two pieces that have the teeth on one side and the other side is straight. So this is um, going to form the bottom of my lid. Now I've sped um, the video up a little bit quicker than usual today um, because this was actually quite a long video but I think you, you get the gist of what I'm doing. Okay so I've just connected the two pieces together into a circle and now I'm folding over all of the teeth and then I'm moving on to my next layer and that's these two pieces that have tabs on the end but they don't have any teeth at all. So I'm going to join these together with the tabs. Now, although the tabs have got score lines beside them, um, you don't want to score along those lines. Those are just placement lines for where the piece overlaps. So you butt up to that line, but you don't want to fold along it. Okay, so this is where the these two pieces will connect together. So you want to line up the seams. And what I've done is I've picked two teeth at that point, one either side of the seam. And I'm just holding that in place, waiting for the glue to dry. And then I've gone to the other end of the circle, to the other seam, and I've taken two teeth again, added some glue to it, and wait, waited for that to dry. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, um, I guess you could call it like the quarter points, so to the two areas in between the seams. So I've taken a couple of teeth, and again, I'm just adding some glue to that, holding them while the glue takes takes hold. And again, on the opposite side. So now, the the circle piece is held at four equal equal distance points around the circle. So that way, I'm trying to make sure that it lines up correctly all the way around. You know, it's evenly spaced, so there shouldn't be any. Um, puckers or anything like that. So I'm adding some glue to each of uh, each tooth I guess you would say and then I'm working my way around the circle and I'm just adding some pressure from the inside and the outside until they all take hold and then I'll move on to the next section. As I'm using quite a tacky glue, um, it grabs quite quickly, um, so I'm able to add glue to the whole quarter at a time. Um, I don't have to add it to just a couple of teeth at a time. Okay, so our, our topmost uh, circle on our lid has teeth on both sides. So again, we're going to combine the two pieces just by adding some glue to the tabs forming our circle and when the glue's taken hold I've just bent over all of the teeth now again I'm going to add a couple of um, it's a glue to a couple of the teeth right on the seam and I'm going to make sure that the seam on all three pieces is running straight then I'll go to the opposite side add glue to two teeth there, one either side of that seam, make sure it's all lining up nicely. And then at the halfway point on either side, I'm going to do the same. So the teeth from the first ring was going upwards and now the, the teeth from this last ring is going downwards. So all of the teeth are going to be in that one place. And then later on, I've got a piece that will go on the inside and it will cover all of those all of those little teeth up. Um, so they'll all be hidden. And then also when we've made our lid, um, there's an extra layer. 
So I'm adding some pattern paper to the outside of my milk churn. And I mean, that is an optional step. You don't have to do that, but it does make it lovely and sturdy. So you can, you know, obviously use this as a gift box, but alternatively, because it's nice and sturdy, you can use it as a storage box. Okay, so I've just worked my way around the whole of that, that circle. Oh, I've just got the last quarter to do now. So I'm just going around one by one, adding some pressure between my finger and my thumb on the inside and outside. And there's plenty of room to get your hand in there and do that. So I'm going to put the top onto my lid now. And you have two pieces um, that are almost the same, but one slightly smaller, and that's your insert piece. So I'm adding some glue all the way around the edge. And then when I drop that in, that'll catch all of the teeth. But the one thing that you need to do with this uh, piece is you need for your holes, which is where your handle goes, to line up with the side seams of your lid. Um, and then your handle will be running in the right direction when it goes on. So I've just added some glue all over this piece and then you have your top cover. So like I say, you could actually leave um, your lid like this and the base is the same um, with a single layer, but in the um, in your cut file and PDF, you'll see that there are some pattern paper pieces that can go on the outside. But I think it looks really nice just in the plain cream. Okay, these are the internal pieces that I was talking about and I'm just giving them a curve before I add my glue to them and they will go on the slanted section on the inside where all the teeth are and it will cover them all up and make it nice and neat. So I'm just sliding it around and making sure that I've got it in the right place so it's in between the two seams. And I was running my hand over the inside and smoothing it into place. And again, I'll use the second piece and do the same. And I'm going to butt one end up beside the piece that I've already put in. And then it may overlap slightly on the other end. But that's perfectly okay. And there, it's all, all the teeth are covered up, you can't see them. Right, here are my pattern paper pieces. Now this lid piece has got the two holes again, so it's easy to um, line it up with what's already there, because that's where your brads will go. So just smoothing that into place, letting it take hold, and then working my way down. I'm just wrapping that around my box, smoothing it into place, and this glue's pretty quick grab, um, but it gives me a moment to just make sure that it's in the right place. I've got a little bit of wiggle room to slide it around, um, but it grabs pretty quick. So it's pretty clear when you're putting them in place which pieces go where because these pieces on the bottom they've got the two holes for the brads. And then the next two pieces you know they go on the slanted areas because these are curved. So the top row hasn't got any holes, the bottom row has and the curved pieces go in the middle. Moving on to my handles now, and you'll see that the thinner handle is the one that goes on the top layer, on the top of your box, that's your very top handle. But what I'm doing is I'm curving the paper um, before I add my glue, and as well afterwards. Um, but if you leave it straight and let the glue dry when it's flat, 
and then try and curve it afterwards the inside layer will pucker but I've got two layers on each handle here to, to make them a little bit stronger um, but yeah you want to curve them a little bit before you add your glue and it makes for a nicer finish so you'll need 10 brads to put your um, your box together with your lid so there's two for the top handle and then there's four for each of the side handles so on one by one I'm adding my brads and the handle just falls into place. Now of course if you don't like the look of um, the the kind of split section of your brad, if you don't like the look of that on the inside of your box you could always you know cover that up if you wanted to. It, it doesn't bother me. Okay that's your lid done and now we'll work on the base of the box. So we're working on the sides and I'm just rolling them and getting them um, slightly curved before I add the pieces together. So you've got these long side tabs. So I'm just adding some glue to this. And then the second side tab, close the box up. And I'm going to roll this over and actually put some pressure on the inside. So I'm just pushing against my table. Now I'm going to turn all the teeth over. And then I need to find the insert piece. But I made a bit of a mistake here because instead of doing like I did with the lid and just putting a row of glue on the outside, I actually put it all over this piece. So that was a bit silly. So what I would recommend you do is just put one ring of glue right on the edge and then you can press it down against your table on a scrap piece of paper. So I'm unable to do that so I've got to put my bottom, my outside, you know, base in place and then I can push down and actually sandwich the, the teeth between the two layers. So it worked out okay in the end. So all I've got to do now is add my patterned paper pieces to the outside. Say that three times when you're drunk. And again, I'm just smoothing them into place. I'm kind of rolling it around at the table and adding some pressure to the inside. I would normally say with bags and boxes to add your extra panels when it's flat but when it's curved it's definitely better to do it afterwards and it it really you know there's no there's no problem with that it's really quite easy to do so I'm just pushing on the inside and making sure that it's all you know nicely and firm in place around the seams and that's it your box is complete all ready for a gift or for storage and I hope you like it.